your answer should be ready. Adjust the microphone to a level that is convenient and keep it on. What is the wavelength of the third overtone of a 2.8 meters long pipe closed? Obokuari. It is equal to 11.2 meters. Kirstius. 2.1 meters. At one end, assuming end corrections can be ignored. Right. One point six meters. One point six meters. A vertical wall of concrete of density two thousand three hundred kilogram per meter cube is two point zero meters long. Two yes, yes. We have the pressure is equal to four point six times 10 to the power 4 Pascal. Fantastic. <laughs> Find. And it's 2 meters by 2 meters by 0 0.2 meters thick. You have to find the pressure the wall exerts on its footing. Take it from there. Now, number three. The maximum thermal efficiency a heat engine that operates between a hot reservoir at 400 degrees Celsius and a cold reservoir at 50 degrees Celsius can have will be KSTS. 20%. No, please. Opokuari. 52%. That's correct. <laughs> Why do fossil records found in sedimentary rocks? KSTS. Okay. okay, this is because um, the 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 dead part of ancestral organisms, part of their dead bodies are not decayed. Therefore, they are deposited beneath um, rivers and the water bodies. These remains of the dead bodies forms part of the sedimentary rocks under the river bodies. And, and then forms part of, as they accumulate to increase in number, they are arranged in layers to form. All right, all right. Let's continue with the question. Why do fossil records found in sedimentary rocks offer some explanation for the theory of evolution? Obukwari. With the sedimentary rocks, these sedimentary rocks are formed by the deposition of fossil materials, thus materials, living organisms. So when maybe archaeologists or people take these rocks and they trace these rocks, they are able to know, based on the complexity of these rocks and the structures found in these rocks, they are able to trace evolution as in how little organisms, thus the low organisms develop into the higher organisms. It's okay. In snails, Snails, not snake. Snail, S N A I L S. The hard. Opokuari. Mantle. Mantle. A force, F. A force, F, of magnitude 10 newton is parallel to the line segment. Linking the points A, 2 minus 5, and B, 
minus 3, 0. Express F in the form bracket opens AI plus BJ bracket closes Newton. Tremper College. Come. You have minus I root 2 plus J root 2. That expression, all in Newton. I'm afraid no. I have minus 5 root 2I plus 5 root 2J. All that with Newton as a unit. Very well. An exponential sequence, an exponential sequence has third term 27 on 2 and sixth term 1 on 2. Find the common opokuare. One third. Oh, correct. A radioactive element has a half-life of 7.00 minutes. Calculate the decay prem per college. Is it constant? Yes. Constant is equal to 1.6 five by ten exponent zero per second. Ten exponent what? Zero per second. Who else pressed? One. Kumasi second technical. Okay. We have we have two point five. One point Six five times ten to the power negative one per second. Oh, what are you pressed? Yes. One point six five by ten exponents minus three per second. Precisely. Carbon dioxide gas reacts with water to form carbonic acid, H2CO3. Give a balanced... Prempe. CO2 plus H2O moving reversibly into... H2CO3. I will accept it. In the formation of carbonic acid, indicate which bonds must be broken and which new bonds are formed. Right. We have bonds to be broken as one C double bond O bond and one OH bond. And bonds to be formed, two OC bonds and one OH bond. That is good. You are not greedy contestants. Why do plants bend towards like photosynthesis? Tears, tears. The microphone should be on, please. This is because the shoot of plants are positive phototrophic in the sense that the oxygen concentration are at the shoot, apical part of the shoot. When light is directed onto the apical part of the shoot, the concentration of oxygen differs on the part of the shoot. The plant therefore bends towards the region with lesser oxygen concentration. And that is towards the light. Since the oxygen will migrate to the darker part of the plant, 
the lighter part of the pants will have a lesser concentration of oxygen. And hence, why do plants bend towards light? Premper College. D this is because the shoot of plants is positively phototropic and oxygen, which is responsible for the phototropic movement of plants, its concentration increases at the darker side of the plant and hence causes an increase in the cells at that part, like there is more cell division at that part. So a greater number of cells produced there causes more of the cells to migrate to the upper part or the tip of the shoot, hence causing the tip to bend towards the source of light. Did you press? Do you hope to press? You don't hope to press. What? What? You are not, I'm not done. Okay, there's a question mark. All that is correct. But why are they heading towards light for photosynthesis? Last question in the round. Find a relation between X and Y, given that bracket opens 2 plus log X base 2, bracket closes, is equal to 2 log Y to the base 2. Prem per college. Yes. Y square is equal to. 4x. No, that's the answer. You are right. <laughs>